In the last video, we looked at the scanner class and how we could use it to take in files. We had to import the IO package. We had to say throws IO exception with the main method. And we combined it all into one statement saying, I'm creating a new file with the scanner class. And inside of that scanner class, I'm taking in a file object called info.txt. I have info.txt over here. I've changed the information inside of the file. What happens if I want to read the file and I have no idea what is inside of that file? What I can do is instead of using system.outprintline statements without knowing exactly what's in that file, if I wasn't able to look at this, we can use a while loop. We say while, and then we could use the method of the scanner class called hasNext. And we want to know what does the file have inside of it. So we use file.hasNext. HasNext is a Boolean method that tells us as long as the file has some kind of string in it, it will continue. And so what we're going to do now is simply take the information out of the info.txt and print it out on the screen using the while loop. Using while loops allows you to end on an unknown condition. And that condition is, how much information do I have inside of info.txt? It could just depend, so the while loop will stop on that unknown condition. We know that all the information inside of info.txt is a string. It's represented as a string. We can change it later if we would like. But for right now, we'd just like to see what's inside of there. And when we get to this point, we can take in the file, but we can also trim the file, meaning that we're going to take off any white space before or after. Because after all, next line is bringing in a string. And we can trim that string, and we'll do exactly that. And then we're simply going to print out what we have inside of the file. Now we're going to run our program. And we see we get exactly what's inside of there. And then later we can decide, well, what exactly do we need to do with it? Do we need to take these in as integers? Do we need to take these in as doubles? Do we need to take these in as uh, strings, but specifically have them as names? Is this an age? Um, who knows? But now we have just taken in the information, an unknown amount of information from the file that doesn't really follow any patterns, and we have printed it out inside of our program. In the next video, we're going to talk more specifically about what to do when there is some kind of pattern to the information that you're given.